A Fort Bragg soldier wanted answers, so he turned to CBS 17. He calls. He says criminals targeted his home twice back in October and then again on Tuesday. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer joins us live with answers about the investigation. Kayla. Yeah, so I started looking into this case today after the victims got a hold of us asking for help. They don't think police are doing enough to help solve the crimes. Police say they're doing everything they can. They broke in through this window pane right here, reached in, ripped out the burglar bar. AJ Brummer shows me how at least one person got into his Fayetteville home Tuesday afternoon, stealing his gun and electronics. A weird mixture of anger and sadness. It's emotionally annoying, um, financially, and then you're just worried and every time you leave the house, what could get stolen? When could they do it? Brummer says these security camera pictures show at least one person breaking into the home on Tuesday. Someone also broke into the home back in October. The Fort Bragg soldier says three guns were stolen then, including his AR-15 rifle. They broke in. They ripped open the lock closet. They got guns. He thinks the same people are responsible for both break-ins. Broke in the same way, stole the same kind of stuff, left the same kind of stuff that I thought would have been stolen. Brummer and his roommate reached out to us because they don't think Fayetteville police are doing enough. We were trying to light a fire under the police department the last time it happened, and we ended up just getting burned out because they just didn't want to do anything. And uh, this time, we just don't want that to happen. These things do take time, and even if you know 100% in your heart who this person is, it's still a matter of proving it. Fayetteville Police Sergeant Jeremy Glass says a canine was used for tracking. Fingerprints were taken, neighbors were questioned, security images were reviewed, and the case has been assigned to a detective. We're doing everything we can. We, we, we fight property crime. It's not going away. And the best we can do is take all the information, the leads that we've been given, and go forward with those. And police do recommend keeping, of course, your guns in a safe and making sure to have serial numbers written down for important information like electronics. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.